be good. That's got to be good. He's a good father of the day. And he's worthy to be praised. And most importantly, he's alive. Tell your neighbor that he's alive. Hallelujah. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come thanking you for this Resurrection Sunday. We thank you for the victory. Yes. We thank you for being triumphant. Yes. We thank you for being all sufficient. And we come here to celebrate you. Not for what you've done, but simply for who you are. Yes. We ask you, Lord, to forgive us of our sins. And we ask you to fall afresh in this place. We ask you to fall afresh in this sanctuary and the Facebook chapel. We ask you, Lord, to move from heart to heart and from breast to breast, Lord. We ask you that you decrease us, Lord, and that you increase, Lord, so the people hear your voice, they hear your word, they hear your guidance, because you are our Lord and you are our King. But thy is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Let every heart say amen. Amen. And give God one more hand clap of praise. John chapter 20. From the ERB translation of the Bible. Beginning with verse number 16. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned toward him and said in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. He said to her, you don't need to hold on to me. I have not yet gone back up to the Father, but go to my followers and tell them this. I am going back to my father and your father. I am going back to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the followers and told them, I saw the Lord. Yes, sir. And she told them what he had said to her. Our key verse for this morning is verse number 17. Jesus said to her, you don't need to hold on to me. The word of the Lord is blessed. Amen. You may be seated. For a few moments, on this Resurrection Sunday 2023, I want to encourage you from the subject, crushed called and commissioned. Crushed, called, and commissioned. And I think we can all identify with this text. We've all been crushed. We've all been called. And we've all been commissioned. Can somebody uh, read that please for a Somebody has to talk.
has been fulfilled. Amen. Jesus has died that we are. He's crossed every T. We've gathered here to praise God and acknowledge the fact that because of the cross and because of the resurrection by faith, we can be at one with God. However, we understand that our celebration of the resurrection is a and the completion of the divine assignment doesn't exempt us from trouble. The resurrection doesn't exempt us from heartbreak. Amen. It doesn't exempt us from persecution. It doesn't exempt us from instability and uncertainty that we endure day in and day out. I think we can agree on this day of commemorating a victorious Jesus that we sometimes find ourselves sick. We sometimes, Sister Joyce, find ourselves irritated. Sometimes we even find ourselves lonely, disconnected, and shattered, even in the midst of our praise. All right. Even in the midst of serving God in excellence. Reverend Slater, we've asked ourselves many questions. Why me? Why in the world am I going through this? What have, what have I done Deacon Smith to be treated this way? Why did this happen? And what in the world am I going to do because of it? Have you ever been there? If I could be so bold on today Deacon Joe Woods we've all been broken. Amen. We're not always confident in the people around us. We're not always confident in the circumstances that we find ourselves in. Sometimes we've been excluded, even by the church folk. Amen. And we find ourselves in a state of disbelief in how our peers have handled us as we wait for God to move. My brothers and my sisters, we've all been denied just like Jesus was. Amen. We've all been lied on just like Jesus was. we all been misrepresented and talked about just like Jesus. We've been betrayed We've been persecuted just like Jesus. But we understand on today that if we're going to identify with somebody, even in the midst of hard times, my brothers and my sisters, we want to identify with Jesus. Because in the midst of trouble, we find contentment in the resurrection. In the midst of struggle, in the violent turbulence of life and ministry, we have peace. Because of the resurrection, we can celebrate. Because even though we have been rejected by man, by faith, we've been accepted by God. Because of the resurrection, we've been denied. We've been betrayed. But we can have joy, unspeakable joy on today because of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. HNBC and friends, we can rejoice with the voice of triumph. Yes. Thank you. Even in the midst of the storm. Yes. Because we are connected to a risen Savior. Amen. 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 Consecrate me now. To thy service, Lord, by the power of grace divine. Let my soul look up with a steadfast hope, and my will be lost in thine. Draw me nearer. My brothers and my sisters, 
our author for today is John, the son of Zebedee. Uh -huh. John, the disciple that Jesus loved. Yes, sir. And he's also known by the title the Apostle John. And as a kill, I want you to know that all of this is supported by the early church fathers. John's original audience was both Jew and Gentile. And they were living in the larger Greco-Roman world in Ephesus and beyond towards the end of the first century. Uh -huh. The thing John wants his readers to grasp, Deacon Smith, is that Jesus yes, sir. is the promised Messiah yes. and the Son of the living God. Amen. And believing in Jesus brings everlasting life. Mm -hmm. Do I got some folks on today that believe Jesus? Yes. 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 Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. In the text, early, early. on Sunday morning, early. Early. while it was still dark, yes, Mary Magdalene made her way to the tomb. Uh -huh. Y'all know how it is when you lost somebody. Yes, sir. She was grieving. Uh -huh. Sister Patty, she was broken. Yeah. And I guarantee you she was very ticked off yeah. by what had transpired three days earlier. Yes, sir. Upon her arrival, Reverend Slater, there was no pomp and circumstance. Oh, for my Bible study is there was no platoon of Roman soldiers. Yes, sir. The Roman seal was broken. Mm -hmm. And for those of you, those of us who know, to break the Roman seal means crucifixion upside down. Amen. Teach that thing. Teach. All right. Wow. Come on. The seal was broken. Mm -hmm. And Brother Leon Stone was rolled. Away. Oh, she was in disbelief. Yes, sir. And what she found. Could you imagine? Your loved one has passed away. You go down to Maloney's and find out that there's nobody there. All Central Ice is gonna shake loose. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm telling the truth. It's going to be a rumble in the jungle. Right <laughs> so she is in disbelief. And she eagerly leaves the tomb, going to find Peter and John. Yes, sir. And she explained to them what she had saw. Uh -huh. Somebody had the audacity. All right. To break that Roman seal. Yes, sir. They had the audacity and the strength. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Amen. To roll away stop. the stone. Yes, sir. And take the body of our Lord. Oh, no. Upon hearing this, John and Peter engaged in a race. Yes, sir. It was a foot race to the tomb. And John happened to beat Peter to the tomb. John was a little younger. <laughs> and obviously in better shape. <laughs> but John, he looks into the tomb. But he does not go in. Uh -huh. But what he did see was pieces of the linen cloth lying there. Oh my God. However, we know Peter. Uh, We've heard about Peter. Oh we read about Peter. Amen. We studied Peter. <laughs> we claimed to be Peter. And Peter, and for those who don't know, 
Peter is the disciple uh -huh. with the mouth shaped like his foot. Because he always ends up with his foot in his mouth. So Peter, he don't hesitate. He goes right in. Peter saw the pieces of the cloth lying there, and he saw the cloth that had been around Jesus' head. It was neatly folded up and laid in a different place from the pieces of lid. The Bible says at this point, John goes in and he believes. But we understand, though they saw, they truly didn't understand Amen. what Jesus meant. So John and Peter leave the tomb. And they leave Mary there. Uh -huh. Angry. Confused. Broken. And grieving. She's trying to sort this thing out, but her mind is in a fog. She was perplexed. Where in the world? Who in the world? Why in the world? And she was weeping. And the angel asked her, mm, Come on. Why do you weep? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Now I'm sure if this was us, yeah. and remember, these are regular folks, yes. she would look ticked off by that. Because <laughs> obviously, you see, the stuff comes to yes. The seal is broken. The soldiers are gone. And ain't nobody in there. So she says, they are taking away the body of my Lord. Yes, sir. And I don't know where they put him. In this moment of bereavement, Jesus steps on the scene. Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. But she doesn't recognize Jesus. Uh -huh. well, he was like, why didn't she recognize Jesus? <laughs> because she went to the tomb looking for a dead Jesus. All right. Come on. All right. Come on, Pastor. She went looking for a dead Savior. How many of us go looking for a dead Savior? <laughs> When he has risen from the dead, we should not look, be looking for the living amongst the dead. Amen. Yes, sir. So Jesus asked her, Who are you looking for? And why in the world are you weeping? Yes, sir. I think Mary got a little indignant. Because she's tired of talking. You know how we get once we say it a couple of times? My mom used to tell me, don't make me say it twice. Give me that look. And you can tell by her answer. He said, Why are you weeping? She said, Look, did you take them? Did you take them? Tell me where you took them and I will go get them. Uh huh. Mary was playing at this point. <laughs> but then Jesus calls her by name. Uh, all right. And once he calls her by name, she recognizes that it is him. All right. See, when Jesus calls us out by an our name, yeah. Amen. we should be able to identify him and recognize him. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Recognize teacher. Yes. And she calls him Where? Rabboni, uh -huh. which means teacher. Yes. Then she grabs hold of him. He says, You don't need to hold on to me. I have not yet gone back up to the Father. 
Interesting. Choice of words. But see, understand, my brothers and my sisters, the time for knowing Jesus by touch and holding on to him physically was done. Amen. Spiritually. Come on. Amen. The relationship had changed because of the resurrection. Amen. See, what this signifies is a new kind of relationship with Jesus and is not known by touch. Uh -huh. Amen. But this new relationship that is to be shared with every disciple in every time, in every place, is not known by touch. Uh -huh. But it is a faith union. I think. All right. Did y'all hear me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's a faith union yes. by the aid of the Holy Spirit. It's not time to hold on to him right now, HMBC. It's not time to cling to him. It's time for us to take off to the next level of service. It's time for us to take off in worship. It's time for us to take off in evangelism. All right. So we understand. Sister Regina, she was crushed. You see that in the text, right? Brother Brown, he called her by name. Uh -huh. Right? That was the word. She was crushed. She was called. But then he gave her a commission. He said, I need you. To go preach. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. He said, Tell my followers or tell my brothers, I am going back to my father. Listen to the word. And now it's your father. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I'm going back to my God. And Sister Rosemary, your God. Yes, yes. This is the first time the disciples have been referred, who have been normally referred to as slaves and friends. See, John 15, 15, are called brethren. Yeah. Are y'all with me? All right. Whereas Jesus' relationship to the Father had been a holy ground. Yeah. The disciples, that the disciples might not tread upon or even approach. But his death and his resurrection along with the ascension will open a new relationship with the Holy One. Amen. Oh, and when we look at Mary, uh -huh. we see that Jesus found her hopeless. He found her grieving. But because of the resurrection, Mm. She didn't stay that way. Amen. All right. She was crushed. She was called. Joy. And she was commissioned. Joy. Joy. So, what is Jesus' response to a committed yet broken vessel? Mm. Number one, and listen to me closely. When Jesus finds us, he doesn't leave us in the state. He found us. Amen. Here. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Can y'all feel that? Amen. I want us to know that Jesus didn't leave Mary in a state of being crushed. He didn't leave her in a state of being broken. And grieving, he made her better. Mm -hmm. All right. Number two, when Jesus calls us by name, he speaks to our hearts, even in the midst of our disconnectedness, no matter what it may be. And he opens our eyes so we are able to see him. In the text, Jesus speaks to Mary's heart in the midst of the hurt. And he opens her eyes 
to be able to recognize him when he calls her name. All right. And last but not least, even though we are broken, even though we are fallen short of the glory of God, even on today, Jesus has commissioned us All right. to leave life's comforts yeah. and to tell the brethren and the sisters that he lives. Yeah. 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 Jesus tells her, don't stay here simply holding on to me. HMBC, don't stay here. All right. Simply holding him. But Jesus is telling us, I need you to go tell my brothers and my sisters who are broken that you have seen the Lord. The songwriter says, he lives. He lives. Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives. He lives. Salvation to impart. You ask me how I know that he lives. He lives within my heart. Today we can rejoice. My brothers and my sisters, we've been commissioned because he lives. We have confidence as we move. We've been commissioned because he lives. Our lives have a greater purpose. We've been commissioned because he lives. We all have seats in the kingdom of God. We've been commissioned because he lives. Today we have the right to the tree of life. We've been commissioned because he lives. We don't have to stay crushed. We don't have to stay broken. We are no longer disconnected. We've been commissioned because he lives. He's called us by name. We've been commissioned because he lives. Do you believe you've been commissioned because he lives? He's chosen us, selected us. He's planted in us a burning fire when we endure the fault of the process. Tell yourself, I've been commissioned because he lives. I'm aware. I know the food is cooking. I'm aware of the reservation. But I was once lost in sin. But Jesus took me in. And a little light from heaven. You filled my soul. It made my heart. And wrote my name above. And just a little talk with Jesus makes me hope because of the resurrection. We are complete because of the resurrection. We are rooted because of the resurrection. We are grounded because of the resurrection. We have direction because of the resurrection. We have purpose because of the resurrection. We can endure because of the resurrection. We can head for the greater. It's so sweet to trust in Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, I'm Jesus, Jesus, I'm a Jesus, Jesus, I'm a Lord and I'm a King. Jesus, I'm a sword. Jesus, I'm a shield. Jesus, I'm a source of strength. The Bible says, He was wounded for our transgressions. For our iniquity and the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with the stripes, we are healed. It should be seen. We can't be stopped. He's alive. We've been healed. We can't be contained. He's alive. We've been healed. 
He's alive. He is the deep in the hill. God sent the son. Yeah. They called Jesus. Yeah. He came to love. Yeah. He forgive. Yeah. He heal. Yeah. He save. Yeah. He lived and died. Yeah. To buy my pardon. Yeah. An empty grave. Yeah. An empty grave. Yeah. An empty grave. Yeah. Yeah. That's a proof. Yeah. 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 Because he lives. Yes, Jesus. We can face all our love. Because he lives. All fear is gone. Because each of these things, we know we hold the future. The life is worth living. Simply. Because he lives. Jesus. So what is Jesus' response? To a committed yet broken yeah. vessel. Come on. Number one, when Jesus finds us, uh -huh. he doesn't leave us yes, All right. in the state he found us in. Yes, my Lord, my Lord. Number two, when Jesus calls us by name, he speaks. To our heart, yes, yes, Lord. even yes, Lord. in the midst of our disconnectedness, yes, man. no matter what it is, yes. and then He opens our eyes and He touches our hearts so we can see Him. Yeah. Yeah. And last but not least, come on. Even though we're broken, even though we are imperfect, yeah. Jesus has. Commissioned us. All right. Individually and collectively, he's given us an assignment. But we're not to sit here holding on to Jesus. Because we are connected to Jesus by a faith union. All right. And so we have to leave the comforts and be willing to leave the comforts of life. And simply tell the brethren and the sisters that he lives. He lives. Because he lives. Yeah. Jelani, I can face the one. Because he lives. Yeah. All the wood, all the fear is gone. Hallelujah. Because I know that I know that I know. He holds the future. Yes. And because he holds the future, life is worth living. No matter what trouble comes our way, life is worth living. No matter what folks say about you, life is worth living, even disconnected from friends and family, simply because he lives. Do I got five folks up in here that will give God praise because he lives? 